There are 5 million people in Singapore. They come from various parts of the world that carry different languages. I'm from Indonesia. I'm from South Korea. I'm from Pakistan. And I'm from Canada. Even the Singaporeans themselves are already made up of four different major ethnicities and therefore speak their own languages. The Singaporean Chinese alone speak four different dialects, which are Mandarin, Hokkien, Teochew, and Guangdong. Not to forget languages like Tamil, Hindi, Malay, and the first language of Singapore, the English language. However, these differences are united by one language that is unique to Singapore, the Singlish or Singaporean English. I think Singlish is some Chinese mix and English is together, used together. Singlish is a, you know, it's a, it's a mix of uh, English and you know, a uh, Singaporean dialect, which is a mix also of uh, ethnic lines, you know, like uh, Malay, uh, uh, Cantonese, Hokkien, uh, you know, a bit of uh, Tamil also. Singlish, I think it's like uh, making English in a shorter form. So it's a blend of English which is um, spoken in Singapore, uh, but that is not really accurately correct. Well, examples of examples of Singlish often come from often Chinese backgrounds more than any other, of course, just like the population. Singapore is made up of a majority of Chinese, so the most of Singlish, you can see that it comes from a lot of Chinese speaking, a lot of, a lot of endings from Chinese. Let's say you want to say, can you please confirm what you are saying? In Singlish, you can just say, confirm not. The obvious thing you can say is la. Uh, you know, uh, cannot make it la, you know, CMI, cannot make it, is something like, uh, you know, uh, below standard or, you know, something that uh, you can't actually fulfill the requirements. Of course, of course, language influences any culture, right? But there is also things that influence the language. Uh, it's sort of a, you know, a lead back culture if you are talking Singlish, you know, that means uh, you can afford to be you know, uh, informal with someone, let's say you go to the hawker center and then you, you, don't, you don't talk proper English to that, uh, you know, that, uh, that, that guy, I mean he wouldn't understand. So in, in a sense, yeah, you know, if you talk Eng uh, Singlish, you are uh, expected to be you know, a bit relaxed. I'd say that the Singaporean culture influences English. The Singaporeans are Malay, Chinese, Tamil speaking and our cultures are influenced by our own languages. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be Singlish. Okay. For Singaporean it's useful, mm -hmm. but like me it's not so useful. <laughs> <laughs> Actually I'm okay with Singlish, but I, 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 like, I, I meet people around like foreigners they don't really like Singlish that much because they think like it's not proper English. I think that I think it's perfectly fine and it's perfectly natural because most people here are Chinese and so as long as as long as a group of people can understand what what they're trying to say as long as they communicate the problem comes when you're trying to communicate with other English speakers. If one can code switch, it is okay. But many people in Singapore can't code switch. They can't tell the difference between Singlish and English. So it's really important that they know what English is, what standard English is, before they even consider speaking Singlish. I think I'm very proud of Singlish. It's, uh, it's our cultural identity. Without Singlish, you wouldn't know that someone is uh, Singaporean. So uh, I, mean, I mean, there's a hula balu about the, uh, you know, um, guys going about saying we shouldn't speak English you know because it's not professional you know it's not in the business uh, language but the thing is uh, without Singlish we, we you know we don't have any identity at all. Singlish is often deemed rude by foreigners but by those who know it and experience it it is a language that brings them closer together it is also representing a culture that is friendly and concise.